63. He now has to get possession on this last difficult red. Bad luck for Fagan, but he now leads, as you see, 63 points to 21, 42 points in front, and in fact only 35 points on the table. This last red, the black, and all the colors. Doug Mountjoy, the Benson Hedges Masters champion, the runner-up in pop black this year, has to be content, I feel, certainly at the moment, with second place in the United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championship for 1977. Doug, who has been professional now for some three years, has had a brilliant run in his professional career. But the young men in snooker today must come forward, and surely we shall see a lot more of the 26-year-old Irishman, Patsy Fagan. A good snooker from Mount Joy there. Fagan, of course, will take good care not to leave a free ball if he misses the red. For a free ball could give extra points to Mountjoy. Now, as I say that, I am ridiculed completely. Ball. A complete change Look, of Joy, fortune. Seven, seven points away to start ball. with and a free ball. It puts Mountjoy back into this frame. Fagan, 63, 63 Doug Mountjoy, 28. 28. A difference of 35 points and Mountjoy with a free ball, which means he can take any color he likes. It'll count one point. He's then onto a color and then back onto the red. thoughts of Doug Mountjoy are at the moment unprintable. Where's the cue ball going? No, we're all right. Mountjoy here can still tie. He can take this red, the black and all the colors. 35 points in it. 35 points on the table. Struggling to stay in the final. That is, the final of the United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championship being played here at the Tower Sackers Blackpool for the first time in many, many years. And there is a very cool, calm and collected 26-year-old Irishman looking forward to another few moments when he hopes he will be able to pick up a cheque for £2,000 and the title of UK professional snooker champion. snooker <coughs> Man Joy of course cannot afford to miss this red Well, 
in fact, I didn't think he could see it, but obviously he could. He's left almost a Chinese snooker, that is, that Fagin has got to get right over the top of the blue. <coughs> That's unlucky for Mountjoy. The Reds caught the lip of the pocket and set the balls up for this young Irishman to clean up, in fact, all balls nicely spaced on the table. One. This championship, sponsored by Super Crystal Aid, makers of the world's billiard balls, offering a first prize of £2,000 to the winner, £1,400 to the runner. And it is the young Irishman Patsy Fagan Eight. who, on his way to this final, defeated his fellow countryman Jack Ray and then took care of the former world champion Fred Davis. He went on to defeat Jim Meadowcroft Ten. and then John Virgo to finally fight out this final against the Welshman Doug Mountjoy. Thirteen. That is not so clever. Seventeen. Not that Patsy Fagan is now worried. <coughs> Leading eighty points to twenty-eight and needing just this frame for the title. He is there. Plays a snooker. And in fact, Mountjoy has conceded, like the sportsman that Mountjoy is, the champion then for the United Kingdom. 1977 is the 26-year-old Irishman Patsy Fagan, who now lives in London. <laughs>